All right. Well, it's the top of the hour, and we I uh, think we ought to get this get this uh, going. So welcome to the second episode of the Buddy Check. We appreciate you guys showing up today. Uh, we hope everybody got a second to view the video recording uh, that Rob and I put out just a few days ago, uh, explaining what this campaign is, uh, what these webinars and video segments will do for you, and uh, how you can take advantage of them. So if you don't recall, uh, just remember that we're going to be bringing content to you uh, three times a month, uh, the first, second, and third Wednesday of every month. The first Wednesday will be a recording, and the second and third Wednesday will be quick 30-minute webinars just like this. We will record everything and provide it to you uh, via a YouTube channel. As of right now, the videos that live on the YouTube channel are unlisted, so if you go on there and search, uh, you won't actually be able to find them, but as we send you links, you'll be able to access them and uh, and and review those at your leisure. Um, we are also looking at creating a members-only landing page where we'll house these as well, which might make that accessibility a little bit easier for you, um, but that's that's in time, probably within the next uh, week or two. So um, today, what we're going to cover specifically is the the new advanced open water and enriched air e-learning uh, that Patty recently put out. Rob's gonna give us a live walkthrough of, of these products, as well as a sneak peek at the new Rescue Diver e-learning, which is coming out. And uh, he'll also cover, cover some of the other digital products that, that'll be uh, released in the next month or so. Um, so uh, stay tuned for that here in just a moment. Now, before we get started, one thing to keep in mind, at the end of this webinar, we are gonna give you a short four question survey. Uh, we do ask that you fill that out. It's gonna give us the ability to uh, not only critique our own skills, but also provide you the content that you most desire. So whether you have topics specific to uh, training or marketing or anything uh, under the PADI umbrella, please let us know at the end through that survey so that we can bring it to you uh, in future episodes. So let's talk about what we got coming up today. So first and foremost, we're gonna go over what uh, current e-learning products are available for you. We're gonna go over what e-learning products are coming up. And then of course, like, like we mentioned, Rob will walk you through the advanced open water as well as the enriched air nitrox uh, e-learning products available uh, via patty.com. And then uh, we'll end that off with a quick uh, sneak peek at the new Rescue Diver coming out here in just a moment. Uh, so without further ado, uh, Rob, how about you jump on and let's talk about what's available now. Hey, everybody. All right, so first and foremost, um, I wanna preface this by saying that uh, this is a list of the e-learning products available now on the, uh, on, on the new platform that we've rolled out recently. So uh, previous e-learning products, things like the uh, dive theory online, those are still available uh, and they'll continue to be available in their original format until we update them. But the updated products that we've released so far are the open water diver course, uh, the advanced open water diver course, uh, the enriched air nitrox, the instructor development course, the open water uh, diver video, uh, the diving knowledge workbook, and then the guide to teaching as well. A couple things I want you to note about these. Uh, we've gone over the open water diver course uh, previously, and if you haven't didn't get a chance to catch that, we've got a, a longer video that discusses that in depth. Um, but do note that that e-learning now comes with uh, the RDP, uh, both in Imperial and Metric. It comes with uh, the ERD PML as well, uh, and then it is available in a variety of languages. That the students can swap back and forth between whatever they like, and it is a living document, meaning that it no longer expires after 12 months. Uh, so the students have access to that for the rest of their lives. So it's a lifetime document for a lifetime certification. Uh, the Advanced Open Water does as well. We're gonna see what that includes here in a bit, um, but that includes uh, a variety of adventure dives, uh, just like the actual manual itself, as well as the integrated videos and, uh, uh, and the, uh, uh, the slates that go with that. The Enriched Air uh, Nitrox course, which we're gonna go through here in a bit as well, also has the video, it has the uh, RDP in both Imperial and Metric for 36% uh, and 32%, as well as the Nitrox Dive Computer Simulator. Uh, and then uh, I'm sure many of you have seen the Instructor Development course, uh, as we've done a lot on that recently. Uh, so if you have any questions on that one and what that includes, we're here to help and answer those as well. Uh, the Open Water Diver video uh, that is now out uh, is a digital video, meaning that the DVD, 
is no longer required. You can send this to a student with a digital code, or in fact, you can set up your own uh, store library accounts uh, where you could stock a, a, a selection of these videos and simply pass out that login information to your divers, allowing them to watch that at their leisure. So you can still maintain your quote unquote DVD rental systems without actually needing a DVD or a DVD player to show these videos. Uh, the Diving Knowledge Workbook and the Guide to Teaching, those are all included in the Instructor Development course uh, materials. However, they are available a la carte. And I do want to point out that these, again, are living documents, meaning that as we update them, uh, we push that those updates out for free to everybody who has that document. So purchasing the Digital Guide to Teaching now is a one-time purchase, just like uh, you never need to repurchase a copy of the Instructor Manual and push out updates on that. We're going to be doing the same sort of thing for the Guide to Teaching, as well as the Course Director Manual for those of you who are course directors or IDC staff instructors. All right, Kyle, can we hit the next slide? All right, so real quick, I wanted to go through a, a little bit of a teaser on what is up and coming. Uh, so you're going to see these products roll out over the course of the next month or so. Uh, so one, you're going to see the Rescue Diver uh, e-learning, which in fact, you're going to see that here imminently, <laughs> but that will be rolled out and available to you and your students here uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, Free Diver will be coming later this summer as well. Uh, so will uh, a very cool new product, the Open Water uh, e-learning sampler. This is actually going to be a digital code that is free to you all uh, that allows you to send out essentially a, a sample of the Open Water Diver e-learning to prospective students so they can see the introduction and, uh, and a little bit of the course content before uh, investing in the, in the full e-learning. That way you've got a little bit of promotional material. And again, that's no cost to you. You'll be able to order those at zero dollars. Um, the advanced open water uh, uh, video will be rolling out here shortly as well. And we're going to take a sneak peek of that today as well. Uh, same for the enriched air nitrox video. Um, and then while the dive master course uh, is slated for a full review similar to the IDC, um, and that'll be a, a longer term project. Um, the Dive Master Manual will be available later this summer in PDF version, uh, allowing you to send out digital copies of that to your students so you can get them started at distance, uh, especially for regions where uh, we're slow to rebound from this whole COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And then we're also going to be rolling out select specialties throughout the summer as well, uh, similar in format to what we're doing here with the Enriched Air Nitrox. So you'll see some of the uh, most popular specialties that you teach. Uh, popping up over the next couple of months here as well, giving you some more uh, um, accessibility to your students, whether they're uh, uh, you know, tourist or domestic. All right, so without any further ado, I think it's time then to get into a walkthrough of some of these products. So, Pat, if you can make me the present. Okay. You got it. Coming your Thank way. Thank you. Let's just make sure I'm showing the correct screen here, and here we go. Uh, all right, so uh, many of you have had the opportunity to explore the new e-learning portal, and so you're likely familiar with this landing page, this dashboard page, uh, but this is accessible by going to patty.com and uh, under the sign-in option, clicking e-learning for students, prompts you to put in your username and password, and this is where uh, you'll land. Uh, it's going to populate with uh, your most recent course that you've been working on in here. And uh, since I've been dabbling in the advanced open water section, it, it, that's what pops up here first. Um, but you'll notice familiar areas, uh, just like the open water diver course, where you have your performance section, uh, you know, your support section, where it'll go through who assigned the course. For example, if you, if the dive center, if you all assigned the, the sea learning through your dive center, your dive center information would pop up. I assign this to myself, so I just see my email here. Uh, and then any unredeemed codes uh, that the student has uh, will populate here as well. So that way they don't have to hunt through their email and find each and individual email that was sent out to redeem that. They can come here and just click the apply code button. And then easy contact to help and support if they're having issues. They can click on that and contact uh, us direct to get IT problems solved quickly. Um, to access any of the courses, as you know, we're just using this drop-down menu here, and that will give access to all of their e-learning options. Uh, for those of us who have the old touch products that are still available to us uh, or have our IDC materials, 
those will fall under this all other courses section until we port some of it over. So for example, you'll see later this summer, uh, the IDC digital crew pack and IDC materials uh, will populate this list uh, and we'll, you'll no longer have to go to this all other courses option to access them. Um, quick note on here, because right, I have had some questions on this in the past, this open water diver, no videos, that's not a product that your students will be able to access or that you'll be able to sell. That was a development product that we were testing, hence why it pops up in mind here. Um, but you select whatever product you're looking for here. Uh, and then just like the open water diver, uh, you have a variety of language options here. And as we develop more languages for these products, they'll auto populate here. You and your students can swap those languages at any time. Uh, but of course, it is ideal if they complete all the assessments in one language uh, as uh, multiple languages creates multiple e-learning records. Not a huge deal if they do that, you just need a copy of each one of those. Right. So jumping into the course, you're gonna see that it follows a very similar pattern uh, in terms of the layout to the open water diver e-learning, the new open water diver e-learning. Uh, and that is of course by design to make it simple and familiar for your students to follow and uh, navigate through. Uh, we break it down into required sections and things like the introduction, the think like a diver section, the underwater navigation and knowledge review, and the deep diving and uh, deep diving knowledge review. And then we have all of the adventure dives. There are 13 of them in total here, uh, which is a expansion uh, of the available adventure dives in comparison to some of the older e-learning products. Uh, and this includes many of the most popular uh, specialty courses. Uh, important to note is that again, this is a lifetime e-learning, meaning that your student is never going to lose access to this. The only part of this they would lose access to is they're going to lose access to being able to uh, change their answers, the knowledge reviews once they've completed it, uh, but they won't lose access to the content. So that means that even after they finish their advanced water program and they complete those, uh, you know, those those five adventure dives, your underwater nav, deep, and those three electives, uh, they'll still have access to all of the information on all of these other specialties, meaning that as they start to get curious about other specialty courses, they'll have a primer readily available in their e-learning, allowing them to get a little information and get hyped up about it. So for example, if we were to say jump into the drift diving section here, um, you'll notice that it populates in another tab, just like the open water, meaning that we can jump back to our navigation pane or have multiple sections open if we so choose. And just like the open water, it's gonna give this overview section with checks on the sections that we completed, and then these gray circles on sections we haven't touched on yet. Uh, if we were to say, jump into the overview here where we'd start, we just click that, or we can click start, the start button. Um, and it again is gonna have the introduction, uh, and now it includes a that sort of hype video. Many of you might be familiar with the, uh, with the advanced open water DVD that's out there uh, that has you know, sections on thick like a diver, underwater nav, and deep. But then all of the adventure dives thereafter are about two minute long hype videos where they don't necessarily go into course content, but they talk about the excitement of that specialty, uh, why people might want to do it, and what kind of things they'll experience. And those videos are included here. So this is a great resource for your students to get a little primer on why they might be interested in that particular adventure dive or that particular specialty. Um, and then of course, it continues on very much like the open water diver does, where uh, you scroll down through the content, it gives you the learning objectives. And all of this is, uh, is responsive, meaning that whether you're doing it on your phone or a computer, it'll scale to fit. And it has the same sort of uh, immediate test exercise questions that are included in here that will uh, give us an answer of, of whether we're correct or incorrect right away. So for example, when drift diving, my exit point is significantly down current from my entry point. And they, that is true. And so we click on that and voila, we're correct. All right. When we're finished with a section, we just click and close out that tab there. Jumps us right back over to our, our home page here. So that's very similar to the Open Water Diver course, which makes it very easy for students who are familiar with that e-learning to transition to this e-learning and carry on. We have included several resources here for you and for your students, including the multi-purpose data carrier, uh, the theoretical depth and altitude chart uh, for the altitude adventure dive, and the basic weighting guidelines designed for the peak performance buoyancy adventure dive. But let's be honest, a lot of adventure divers could stand to look at that whether or not they're doing that adventure dive. Um, these also populate in a new tab 
and they show up in a very clean, easy to follow format here, um, allowing your divers to, uh, to easily navigate these materials and expand them uh, so they're as large as they need to be to, to view. Um, now, one important thing to note here is that through the PADI training app, uh, these are downloadable, meaning that uh, your diver can download these to their phone and take it to the dive site with them and use it in planning their dive. Now, of course, we don't recommend taking your phone diving with you unless you have a diving ready case for that. Um, but this does provide them the, uh, that, that pre-planning information that we would reference in the Think Like a Diver section. So for example, it does allow them to double check those knots and, uh, and so forth for the search and recovery. It talks about uh, kit cycles and all of that for the underwater navigation. Um, and so that is here and available. And it's sometimes just useful to be able to check in on these, uh, especially when your students are, are, are working through some of this the first time themselves. Uh, so nice and clean and easy to use here. Um, I'm personally a big fan of the uh, the basic weighting guideline here. That's was always so useful in the back of the peak performance buoyancy manual for me when I was teaching. I'm glad to see that it's worked its way in here. All right, so that's the advanced open water uh, e-learning. Now, as we journey back, uh, we're gonna just pop over very quickly to the Advanced Open Water Diver video. Now this isn't released just yet, uh, but it will be here soon. So uh, this is a sneak peek of this product. So you may see a, a few small alterations, but this should be coming out here very shortly. Um, you'll notice that it's broken up into the same sections as the e-learning, um, and uh, but that there, the resources obviously aren't included. You'll also notice that if you click on a particular section, uh, such as the altitude diver here, what it's going to take them to is essentially a viewer page. It's going to take them to a page where they can watch that video, and there isn't any other content in here. They watch the video, and when they're done, they close the tab. Nice and simple. Uh, this makes it easy for students to navigate it and use it at home, uh, and it also makes a great addition if you're planning on setting up sort of a, a library option for this, if you historically taught with DVD in the manual. It makes it very easy. Uh, Moving on to the Enriched Air Diver course. Hey, real, real quick, Rob, before uh, yeah. before we go to Enriched, um, we got one question from the audience that I think is pretty relevant. Um, they were asking if students can print out the tables uh, or some of the assets that come with the products so that they can use them in, say, printed format while at a shore dive, as opposed to using their phone. Do you know if that, oh. if that option is available? Yeah, actually you can. And in fact, uh, I tried some of that myself. Um, you can either print it off, but you can also save those as, as by right clicking, they save as JPEGs. So you can save them as a photo as well. So there's all kinds of formats that your student can convert them into to use, whether they want that print uh, on their phone or on some other device. Perfect, thanks Rob. No problem. All right, uh, any other questions? And let's go ahead and we'll carry on then with the Enriched Air Diver. Uh, so the Enriched Air Diver here, again, follows the same access format that the Advanced Open Water and the uh, Open Water does. Uh, and again, it's rolled out with a variety of languages available. Uh, and when we jump in here, you're gonna notice that in addition to the course content, so the, the actual body of what would be in the manual, the Enriched Air Diver, uh, which follows the exact same layout uh, that we've seen before, uh, and in addition to the final exam, which is like the open water locked until the student finishes their required knowledge review, it also has expanded resources. So for one, it has the dive computer simulator, uh, which if we go to and open that, uh, this is a, a, a dynamic product that pops with a landing page. Just click there, select our language, and then it will take them to the dive computer simulator that you're all familiar with. So great tool if you're teaching uh, Nitrox with the dive computer and their student hasn't invested in their own just yet. Um, but we also have the RDP in both metric and imperial. And we include the instructions for use, of course, but also the 36% and 32% tables, uh, as well as the, uh, the equivalent air depth tables. Uh, in both imperial and metric. And those are gonna follow the same format that we saw before 
in the advanced open water materials, where we have this uh, uh, we have this page that's nice and big, nice and easy to read, multiple layouts, depending on what they're looking for here. Uh, you can right click, save these images, copy these images, whatever you'd like to do. You can print it straight off of your uh, off of your browser uh, just by thumbing up and, and clicking the uh, print options here. Uh, so easy to navigate, easy to use, and it does also work on your phone on the Paddy training app, not to be confused with the Paddy app. Uh, so voila, you can see that there. So just downloads direct and pops right up. Easy to use the dive site. Okay. Uh, you know, my window here. Um, so one thing that I like to point out here is that this is a departure from how we've previously sold this product, where you're all familiar that when you bought uh, either the manual or the crew packs, you had to decide at that point whether you want an RDP or the data computer simulator. And there wasn't an option to get both without needing to buy two different versions of that manual. Um, that and the need to buy the DVD to show in class, if you're gonna need the manual and so on and so forth, uh, made it sort of a very add-on, sort of ad hoc product to purchase. And in this case, it's now all inclusive in this e-learning. Now the inclusion of both the RDP and the, uh, and the Dive Computer Simulator allows you some flexibility in how you wanna teach the course, but it also allows you to teach both ways. Uh, and I was a big fan of this when I ran a, a dive center when I was teaching these courses. And that's because, as many of us know, nothing sells the dive computer faster than showing students how to do this on the table and then showing them how much easier it will be on their dive computer. So the ability to, uh, to highlight this in that course is a great way to help generate some other revenue in your dive center as well. Uh, all right. So that is the Enrichter Nitrox e-learning. Uh, so one one quick question pops up. I think it's it's pretty relevant. Um, the question mm -hmm. is, how long do these products uh, last for the student, or do they expire at a certain period of time? It's a great question. They do not expire. They never expire. These products are lifetime products. We have completely abolished that 12 month um, expiration date on these products. These are lifetime certifications, and we felt it was important for these divers to have lifetime products. The only thing they'll lose access to is the exams and the knowledge reviews. They'll lose that after they complete those. Uh, and that's a, that's a that's a legal thing that's so that there isn't the ability to go back and change their answers. Uh, but all the course content, all the videos, all the resources that there's forever. Perfect. Right. Yeah. Cool. All right. If there are any other questions, uh, I do you want to point out that the Enrich Your Diver video is coming as well? It follows the exact same format as the uh, as the layout of the advanced open water. So again, it's a it's a page that includes the video. Click on the video and it runs. Very simple. Uh, so now that we're kind of running short on time here, I do you want to do a quick sneak peek of the rescue diver? Now this product isn't released yet. All right. So there may be a few. Uh, alterations and, uh, and additions to this uh, on a small scale before it comes out as we go through the process of, of, of vetting and testing it, uh, which is coming to inclusion here. Um, but important to note that it's going to come out in English first with Chinese and Korean on a fast follow. Um, so you'll see those very quickly uh, coming behind it and then other languages will follow as we're able to develop them. And so we'll be able to, to update and roll those out automatically. And those language updates will automatically be pushed out to your students, to anybody who owns a copy of this. So uh, so if you assign it to somebody now in English and they decide that, you know, Korean is really their preferred, they, you know, they tried it in English, but they'd really rather do it in Korean. Korean will be out shortly and they'll automatically get that option when it comes out. Um, so in jumping into the course, Again, very similar layout, very simple section, followed by knowledge review, followed by section, followed by knowledge review. The same kind of format that we're seeing in the open water, advanced open water, and enriched air nitrox. Um, and again, the, uh, the rescue diver final exam is locked until the student completes all five knowledge reviews. That way they can't just skip to the end. They actually have to go through the material. Um, and it, of course, does include the accident management work slate which as we discussed with all the others is available on your Paddy training app. Uh, it's available for print, for download, however you'd like to do that uh, so that your students have a multitude of ways to, uh, to work through this. Um, this is great if you wanna print it out and say laminate it, 
and have it for your students to dive site. That way they can actually go through with you know, grease pencils or what have you, uh, or, uh, or dry erase markers to, uh, to actually fill it out as they go without a need for them to purchase that slate as well. Uh, so again, this you know, cuts down on, on additional purchases by including these, these resources here. So uh, as long as your students have that rescue, that, that have a, a pocket mask of some kind to use during the program, they don't necessarily need to invest in the e-learning crew pack uh, that would normally be associated with this. So this allows you to offer more value uh, at a lower rate to your students as well. All right, that about sums it up for our sneak peek of the products here. Uh, any questions before we pass this back off to Kyle? Yeah, just uh, one more question. And, mm -hmm. and uh, that question is, is there any info that can be given on additional specialties that will be added to the e-learning toolbox uh, coming up soon or in the future? Have you heard anything on that? Yes, I can give you some teasers on that. I can't promise dates, but I can give you an idea of what's going to be coming up here. So let me just consult my notes here real quick so I don't miss quote or misrepresent. Uh, so uh, fast follow, you'll see uh, dry suit diver e-learning, you'll see equipment specialist updated, you'll see underwater navigator, you'll see deep dive, peak performance buoyancy, night dive, wreck diver, search and recovery, uh, drift diver, boat diver, digital, uh, sorry, diver propulsion vehicle. Uh, all of those will be coming out in the near future as well as, drum roll please, EFR, primary and secondary care. Um, all of those are slated to roll out before the end of the summer. Um, again, I can't give you solid confirmed promise dates on that because these are in development. And as we all know, uh, we're all living in a very different world right now <laughs> with very different resources. Uh, but our development team is rolling these out as quick as they possibly can. And so far, they've been ahead of schedule. So very excited to see all of those popping up. I think you just got a standing applause for that. <laughs> all right uh, thanks everybody last question before we switch over uh there's a uh, someone who's under the assumption that open water diver e-learning has to be completed within 12 months is advanced open water and rescue follow that same format so that's actually a common misconception the uh open water diver e-learning the new open water e-learning does not need to be completed within 12 months uh where this comes from is that the instructor manual we mentioned that the e-record is good for 12 months, right? So uh, if the student takes longer than 12 months to complete it, uh, the e-record may expire. But that doesn't mean that they can't still can't complete the e-learning and pick up from where they left off. The only additional requirement there is that you would need to pre-assess their knowledge. So in the case of the open water driver course, you'd want to have them take the final exam over again, just to double check they remember everything. Uh, in the case of the advanced open water or the enriched air nitrox, uh, you would have for the advanced air nitrox, I'm sorry, for the advanced open water, you would have them complete the requisite knowledge reviews again, or at least go over those again with the instructor. And then for the enriched air nitrox, you'd have them complete that final exam again, if they take longer than that 12 month period. Uh, so there's no requirement for students to have these completed within 12 months, although obviously it's recommended, um, but there are options for you to move forward with the program without purchasing a new e-learning, without having them start over from scratch if they do exceed that 12 month limit. Awesome. Well, that sums up the rest of the questions. Um, so let's uh, hop back over here and close things out for us. All right. All right, let's get this loaded up. All right, so just to close things out, I, I want to bring your attention to one tactic um, that Patty is requesting your assistance for. Um, we are creating a worldwide global map that is based off of uh, current and actual COVID restrictions, diving restrictions, and um, the accessibility for diving for consumers out there. So you may have received in the past few days or might be receiving in the next day or so an email that is requesting your assistance and filling out the information on this COVID map. And, and of course, this is a high priority for us, but not just for us as the dive industry, but mostly for the consumers and those out there who are seeking to go uh, diving, whether that's in their local communities or you know somewhere that might have relaxed restrictions that they're traveling to. So when you get this email, please fill this out. If you haven't seen the email uh, within the next few days or in the, in the past few previous days, please let me know and I will work with you directly, uh, 
probably through a video chat or something to help fill this out. The link that you receive in your email is specifically affiliated to your shop in particular. Um, so there is no generic link to go and access this online. Uh, so you do have to have a dedicated link and I can provide that to you if you haven't received it um, so far. Now, just to give you some background on this, we did a similar type map for this, uh, for the Bahamas, Caribbean and Southeast of the United States when Hurricane Irma came through and I believe that was 2017. It devastated that landscape. They were out of work for many months, but we stayed on top of uh, those shops asking for their updates. And as they were able to resume business, um, it represented that it represented that on the map that we provided uh, out there to consumers. So this map hasn't been released publicly necessarily. You may have seen it in Dive Newswire today, uh, but as soon as we get some content filled in on this um, and, it, and it covers a large swath of the planet, then we'll go ahead and get that out there uh, to, the, to the global community of divers so that they can start calling out and seeking adventures that, that they wanna go on. Um, so definitely keep this in mind, keep a lookout for it in your email. And if you don't find it, contact me so that uh, we can work through it ourselves. Um, just one last thing to go over. Uh, we have uh, created the Patty Pacific WhatsApp group and looking at the attendees that are in this webinar, uh, many of you are already a part of that. But if you have not, um, because if you have not joined that WhatsApp group, excuse me, um, please go ahead and do so. It's a great way. Rob and I uh, put content on there almost daily, certainly multiple times a week. Um, it announces things like upcoming webinars, much like this one, uh, some of the business survival webinars, time sensitive promotions, of course, uh, product releases, uh, new marketing kits and tactics that you can use. So if you haven't had the chance, uh, you can actually do it in real time, pull your phone out and scan that QR code right there, and it'll give you a direct link into WhatsApp to join the group. But if you don't have your phone handy or can't do that at the moment, um, just reach out to me at kyle.ingram at patty.com. I'll send you a dedicated link for you to join and you can uh, get involved there. So great place to share information, uh, not just coming from us, uh, not just coming from Rob and I, but also coming from yourselves as well. Just to give you a brief overview of the next upcoming topics. Uh, as you can see on the 20th of May, we finished, uh, we're finished. we finishing up the live product walkthrough now. We're gonna release a video in the first week of June um, that shows you how to update your e-learning affiliate links with these new products. And then we'll go over a couple website best practices. I can't really help myself. I spend too much time in marketing. So of course I have a passion for that. Uh, shortly the week after that, we'll go through some value added certification tactics, including um, the new club, the benefits that that provides you as a, as a store owner or professional and uh, how it can benefit your students as well. And then we'll give you a couple uh, strategic pricing models that you can use to incorporate not just the new e-learning products or new products that are available, but also those value added benefits like club and things like that. Um, shortly after that, we'll go over the Adventures app, which is a great tool for you know Patty Resorts out there in our region. And finally, we mentioned earlier that at the end of this webinar, there'll be a quick survey. Um, please fill that out because the questions that we get, if they're not time sensitive, we will cover those during our July 8th Ask Us Anything uh, video recording where we answer your questions in real time so that you can get those answers. Like I said, we'll review them. If they're not super time sensitive, we might save those questions or at least respond to your question and then provide it out there for everyone else as well. And our last topic that we have scheduled so far until you guys provide us more content ideas, we'll go over some course linking strategies that you can use uh, hopefully in July when, um, you know, fingers crossed, this whole thing is kind of said and done at that point in time. So just a quick review of what's come, uh, what we went over, went over the products that are available now, the products that are on the way, uh, went through the live walkthroughs, and of course gave you a sneak peek of rescue. We'll provide this video recording to you tomorrow so that uh, you can share this with your staff. It could be great staff meeting content, um, or you can just review it again if there's any, uh, any outstanding questions or uh, things that you may have missed the first time around. So I did get one question uh, from the crowd. It says, can we access the map and check that our info has arrived? Um, it sounds like uh, you have already filled out that survey, which is awesome, thank you. And yes, of course, I can check that. So maybe just shoot me an email after this or I can connect with you after this and let you know if that has populated, but it only takes me seconds to figure that out. So without any other outstanding questions, I got one compliment on my shirt, thank you. 
uh, I appreciate that. I tie-dyed it myself, right? Dive flag. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys for joining us. That's the end of episode two. And uh, we really appreciate your participation. And we'll we'll shoot you out a video in the first week of June. Thanks, everybody. All right.